clicking on this coding tutorial video. I hope you stick around. This is what we are building today. So this is a design portfolio website. We are creating the homepage. It has a vertical side nav, which I can hover over, and there's a line that strikes through the text. Then there's a fully functional hamburger menu, which is interactive. So if I click on it, it's going to turn into an X, and the side panel will pop out. And these are also hoverable. And then if I close, click on the X, the side panel will close. And then this really excites me. Down below, we have these numbers representing projects. And when I hover over, the project appears. And then this is also a link, so you could click in and go to that page. And that's what we're creating today. So let's jump into the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is create this repository. I could create it just by using my desktop and creating a folder there. My desktop is a little bit of a mess right now, so we're just going to do it by the terminal. And it's also kind of efficient this way. So I'm going to cd to my desktop. And now that I'm on my desktop, I'm going to make the directory, which is this command. And let's call it design portfolio. And then I'm going to cd to design dash portfolio. And now that I am in Design Portfolio, I'm going to open my code editor. And I'm going to do this by running the command code dot. And this is because I'm using Visual Studio Code. And I'll put a link to it below. And it allows me to run this command. And there we go. We're up and running. From here in my code editor, I'm going to now create our files. So I'm going to go here, click New File. And first, we want index.html. I know we also want a styles.css and in part two and part three we are going to be adding javascript so i want an index.js okay i'm now in the html file let's start this file off with an exclamation point so once i press exclamation point and enter visual studio code will autofill the core of our html file from here let's first change the title i'm just going to call it design portfolio and now let's link everything up so the first tag we're going to do is a link tag Let's make it self-closing, the href dot slash current folder, and we're going to do it to our styles.css, and we're going to rel of style sheet. And now let's link our index JavaScript file with a script tag, and we are going to get to the JavaScript in episode two and episode three. So from here, we're going to define the source, once again, dot slash, and this time our JavaScript file. And type is text slash JavaScript. I'm going, to, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. There we go. Okay, and now that we're linking everything up, let's also link up our Google font. So today we are going to be using the font family Roboto. And here I am at fonts.google.com. You can search it here. I will also put a link to it below. I've selected regular, medium, and black. So from here we are going to embed them. So we're going to the embed tab. And then we grab this link, copy it come back to our HTML, and we're going to paste it right below our CSS. And then while we're here on the Google font page, I'm also going to grab the CSS font family rules. And we're going to throw that into our CSS under the tag body so that everything is selected, and we'll save that. Let's start creating the vertical side nav that I talked about in the intro. First of all, we can close this to have more screen width like that. Let's go into the body. Let's create the first div. And we're going to give this an ID of sidebar left, because it's on the left side. Easy enough. And then another div. This div is going to the top of the sidebar left, and it's going to be our projects tab. So let's give it the ID of top, and let's give it the class of vertical text. Then within this div, we want it to have an A tag. And we're not linking anything up, we're just making the home page, so we're going to give it an href of hashtag. And this first one is projects. And let's copy this div because we know we have a bottom one. So I'll change the ID from top to bottom. Still vertical text. And then within here, we want to change this to about. And then I have a go live extension on my Visual Studio Code, so I'm going to click on this. It's starting on port 5500. And here's my index.html. You can also accomplish the same thing by dragging your index.html from the folder into your browser. And right now, we haven't styled anything, so they are just appearing horizontally and on top of each other. 
So let's start styling a bit. The first thing I'm going to do is open a side-by-side -side so that I can have my style sheet right beside my HTML so I can see what, exactly what's going on. And let's add some styling to the body. So let's give it a background color of hexadecimal symbol E A E F F one. And that's going to be the light gray. Additionally, we want to have an assigned font size that we can override of 14 pixels. Next, we have our A tags. So let's style those independently. Let's give them a text color of RGB 40, 40, 40. And let's put commas, that's important. And we also want to mark this as important because we want to override the initial blue styling that happens to A tags. And then we don't want the underline, so we're going to give it text decoration none. However, the A on hover, we do you want to have a text decoration? And this is for the style flare. We want it to have a text decoration of line through. Now let's move on to the top and bottom. So let's cover both of them at the same time first. We want it to have them both to have a margin right, 20 pixels. We want to fix their position so they stay in place. Left zero with 50 pixels. And let's align the text center. Cool. Next, let's target the top and the bottom individually. So the top, let's do hashtag top. And this is going to have a top of zero going to have a transformation, which is going to be the rotation, where we're going to rotate it 270 degrees. And then within transform, we're also going to translate it negative 74 pixels, comma 30 pixels. And let's copy this and adjust it slightly for the bottom. So hashtag bottom. In this case, the bottom will be zero. Still the same rotation. Instead of negative 74 pixels here, we're going to translate it 135%. And let's look at our live version. So if I go to design portfolio, and if you hover over, line through. Looks great. Okay, so next, let's add the title in and the little intro paragraph. So let's go back to our code. And let's leave a comment for ourselves, because below in episode two, I'm actually going to add my hamburger <laughs> menu, now I'm getting hungry, code here. So let's comment this out and let's start our code up. So we're first gonna have a container div. Let's give this an ID of header. And then within here, I'm going to have another div, ID title container. And then let's start with our H1. So we're gonna have an H1 our title, which is Jane Doe, standard, not important, or <laughs> just standard unknown name. And then we're going to have our paragraph tag. For the paragraph, people often use lorem ipsum. I actually really like this site. It's called hipster lorem ipsum. And you can just create as many paragraphs or text as you want. Let's do here to disrupt. That's what I did before. <laughs> really doesn't matter what the text says because it's just filler text. And then let's add a paragraph there and then we'll save. Cool thing about Visual Studio Code is it auto formats because I have formatting and prettier on. And then let's select title container in our CSS with hash, it's an ID, title container. We're going to give it also a position of absolute a max width 1, 2, 8 pixels, 80 pixels, a top 20% and a left 20%. And then padding right 40 pixels. Next, let's target the H1. So I don't want this to have a font size 74 pixels. We want to transform this to uppercase. And we want it to have the heaviest weight which is 900. Let's target the paragraph now. Now let's have kind of its own line height. We give it 1.618 and 
we want its width to be smaller. Max width of 650 pixels. Let's save all of that and let's look at what we have. Design portfolio, cool, looks great. And let's see the responsivity of it. So if we close the width, that looks good. And we can even inspect further. If I right click and click inspect, I can go here and we can see what it looks like, for example, on an iPad. Happy with that. And how does it look on an iPhone? Cool. Uh, we can also add media queries later on because uh, I don't like kind of how close this is. Maybe if we move it left a little bit more on mobile, I think that would help us out a lot. So I'm going to end part one here. In part two, once again, we will create this awesome hamburger menu, which slides out, slides back, and then part three, we'll create this bottom navigation. Hope to see you in part two. Bye.